Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Friday, I'm going to do a weekend in my life and we have an exciting weekend coming up. But right now I'm taking photos for the podcast cover because I want to like rebrand. I really like the cover art right now, but I have a vision so I want to see how it comes to life. But I'm not going to wear this today because I don't know, I want to save this blazer because it's so freaking cute for like a moment and I think tonight we're just grabbing a quick bite to eat um but this blazer is from Nana Max which is another boutique um this bodysuit is from Forever 21 I'll link these pieces below um and then these pants they're really wrinkled they were actually in storage but I'm obsessed with them I got them pre-pregnancy and I tried them on and they're a size small and they fit so cute. I got them from TJ Maxx. They're the brand Sincerely Jewels, which is my favorite from TJ Maxx. I feel like I'm kind of stepping away from shopping there because I feel like nothing really lasts, but I really do like her collection at um, TJ Maxx. So anyways, I got my nails done the other day. I went with my nail tech was like, we should name this color after you. So like, I feel like you get this every single time. But anyways, all right, I'm gonna take you guys with me. We're gonna see how this comes out. I hope my vision comes out good. And then we also have the new arrivals um, being delivered today for confetti. So maybe I'll show you guys a sneak peek. <music> Here's how they came out. I like this one. I think this one's my favorite. Yeah, that one's cute. So I'm gonna play around on Canva. I have an exciting meeting um, at 12. It's 11:45. So gonna play around with um, these photos and everything, and I'll show you guys the final edit if I decide. I wish <laughs> I just don't have time to do my hair ever. And Kason pulls it like there's no tomorrow. Um, so I don't even bother with my hair because I'm just going to put it back anyways and I don't want to apply heat to it if I don't have to. So we'll see if I end up using these. I might keep it how it is, but these were fun to take. Jason, are you excited for your first 5K today? What do you think? Are you ready? Bradley. Welcome to the finish line, my friends. Hey you guys, so it is now Friday. It's like a week later. <sighs> Anyways, this vlog is all over the place because long story short, we did the 5K that you guys saw. And then the next day, my husband went and played basketball. I had a bridal shower that I was supposed to go to and he ended up breaking his ankle. So everything has kind of been on pause because I had to like rearrange my work schedule and everything. But it is now Friday. We are going out for my father-in-law's birthday. Here, it's my time of the month, so I'm just wearing this black jumpsuit. And our hot water also was not working, so I was finally able to shower. They came this morning and fixed it. Long story short, I'm a mess, but I want to show you guys some of the pieces for the Confetti Babe Mary Beth launch. It's so cute. I'm kind of like, 
kind of over the peloton i don't know i keep going back and forth if i want to keep it i don't know oh, hold on okay here's a little quick overview i'm so obsessed with the color scheme i've just i know you guys are gonna love all of these pieces we have linen shorts we have bodysuits <laughs> set i love this sweater this i think is my favorite piece so many good items and we have one more item that's coming that i know is going to be a huge hit but like if this doesn't scream me in a collection i don't know what does anyway it's gonna head out i need to put my hair back i'm also obsessed with this water bottle i'll link it below because it has like this feature and i'm kind of over the stanleys they are so much to lug around plus everything else that i need to bring having a baby so i'll take you guys with me i'm probably not gonna vlog at dinner because like i said we're going out for my father-in-law's birthday but tomorrow we're going to my parents and then i have a baby shower on sunday and hopefully brad doesn't break any bones hey you guys it is now a saturday it is i don't even know what time it is brad's mowing the lawn it's 8 45 he started at 8 i'm like our neighbors probably hate us but like i told you guys yesterday he broke his ankle and it's, he's feeling a lot better so it actually ended up being a better outcome than we thought when we went to urgent care. She wasn't an orthopedic like the main nurse uh, or doctor. So she was thinking four to six weeks for him to be like in a cast and everything. And he went to the orthopedic and they ended up saying he only needed a cat or to be in the boot and would probably only be in like severe pain for two to three weeks. But the pain, like he's already kind of walking around like normal. It's definitely bruised and doesn't look great but he's definitely moving and grooving a lot better so we love that Kaysen has been up since what time did you get up this morning like 6 15 which we love that's pretty good so um he actually does really well sleeping like last night he got up at 11 30 and then four o'clock because i think he was having a nightmare and then six and here he is so we are i'm getting ready um and we're gonna go and grab coffee and bagels, I think. And then we're gonna head to Lolly and Pops, which is my parents, um, your grandparents. They're Lolly and Pops, Lolly Pops, super cute. But um, yeah, we're gonna go there and have a little pool. It's beautiful. I don't know if he's gonna go swimming because my parents' pool is always so freaking cold. Like I never go in. And so we'll see, it's probably really cold, but we'll bring your swim stuff just in case. And he definitely needs to go down for a nap, but kind of waiting until we get to the car because he usually will fall asleep as soon as we start driving. So, yeah, and then I need to run to the store too and get girl stuff. Oh, it's so freaking annoying getting that stuff. <laughs> and then um, I'm going to make a dip to bring to my parents. So, oh, also, I finished finally, which I don't know why this book took me so long because it's only 290 pages but i finished this the furry and you guys i miss like reading actual books like i love my kindle but i do love the feeling of actually reading a book and like seeing you know like i know you can track on kindle like how the like, percentage and everything but i love being able to see like how many actual pages i've read but um i gave this a three out of five honestly probably would have given it a two out of five but it did like it just took a while and I felt like it was just a little like, I don't know, it's not my favorite. I don't know if I recommend it to be honest. So like a two and a half stars out of five, to be honest, it was okay. Um, I, I like kind of expected. it. I think I had such high hopes because it was the same author as The Silent Patient and that book was really good. And so I think I just had high hope, but I like saw, you know, what was gonna happen a mile away so i don't know but it was pretty predictable and just could have done without it so we are gonna finish getting ready here's his outfit this was just something to throw on him we're gonna get you in like a cute little i got him a little um i'll show you guys but it's super cute um like onesie for the summer so yeah this is just your morning attire um but anyways I'll check in with you guys. I want to update you. Oh, so I'm reading. I'm still reading a court of court of fur and oh, I don't know. It's the second um, Akatar series uh, book in the series, and so far so good. It's like I wish I had my phone. I want to say it's like is it 600, or 800 pages? I feel like it's 600 pages, 
that's a long book for me like I said that was 300 and it took me a while to get through so I'm reading that but with that book is good like that series uh, there's a lot of them but I have to like be in the mood and like I said I've really been liking reading actual hard text textbooks hard books um so I work in a, like in higher education so textbooks just came natural but I love the feeling of actual book but the Kindle is just so convenient. So I'm reading the Akatar, the second one, which my sister said is like her favorite book ever. But like, I don't know if I can dedicate just one book for 600 pages to myself. So I'm also reading Just for the Summer, summer which I've heard mixed reviews. So I do book of the month. Some of the times the books are like, oh my goodness, like the furry sounded so good. And it like, it was okay. I wouldn't have picked it out if I didn't do book of the month. So that's like fun, but I, um, what was I gonna say yeah so we'll see I'm gonna read that too but sometimes book of the month I don't know it's a hit or miss with like the books like this past month I was like what the heck I didn't read I didn't I skipped this month but anyways all right we're gonna finish getting ready so we can go get bagels and mommy needs a coffee I'm gonna make you a bath too I'm running late here's my outfit didn't have time to do my hair so throw on this baseball cap that my father-in-law got me and then these pants which i'm obsessed with but i wish i sized up from amazon and so is my shirt so i'll link this below the hat he bought for me in georgia so i won't be able to link it but here we go i'm running late so you gotta run